Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome back to my sewing channel called Sew Notes. Alright, so I have a little bit of a different video for you today. This is a video all about sewing the Enya wallet or crossbody pattern. Alright, so I walk you through uh, the pattern pieces that are needed and then I sew the whole thing on my Juki DDL8700H. Uh, I filmed the whole process. I missed a couple of the steps because I just forgot to put my camera on. But basically I filmed the whole, whole process. With video editing, I have fast forward through some of the stuff, like making it faster. So it's not such a long video, but it is still a bit of a long video. So if this is something that interests you, stick around. Um, after you're done watching the video, I wouldn't mind some feedback, construction, constructive criticism. Uh, this is one of my first time doing something along the lines of this. And I'm just curious to know if this is something that you would like. Uh, what can I do to improve the quality of the video? Uh, was the camera angle okay? Should I switch my camera angle? Should I sew it in real time uh, using my actual voice and microphone? Because I actually recorded it and then I did a voiceover. So I'm really excited about this video. I'm really excited to hear what you think of it. And I would appreciate your constructive criticism, feedback. Um, it only makes me grow stronger and helps me produce better quality content for you. All right, so that's enough chit chat there. Let's get into sewing the Enya uh, wallet and crossbody pattern by Apple Green Cottage. All right, so here are the pattern pieces that you will need. This is your inner and outer welt pocket. This is your interfacing for the flap. This is your slip phone pocket, so it's interfaced on only half of it. That's your slip phone pocket. These are your card slots sides. All right. Here we have our two exterior panels. This is the flap from the accent piece. This is the outer back. The outer back and it's with fusible fleece. This is the lining. Lining pieces and they have This is the lining pieces and they are both interfaced. And some fusible fleece for the other front side. Next we have our outer center front. So that's our accent fabric piece. And once again, it is interfaced. And, and two more that we have is, this is our zipper tab. I might switch this out for fabric though. I don't think I'm gonna use the vinyl, so I'm gonna switch that one out. And then here is the card slot, card slot piece that I have already started um, folding. Uh, prior to doing this video because I decided I should film this. So that's the card slot piece. And then additional pieces that you could use that I'm not going to be using is um, strap for the key, the key and tab, strap tabs for the key fob, and then uh, key holder strap. So I'm not doing that. Mine's strictly a wallet that's going to go into my um, purse. So here are my pieces. Let's go sew. So the first
first thing I'm going to do is I am testing out the stitching on my machine, making sure that my bobbin and my thread are all threaded nice and it's giving me a nice top stitching detail. And here we have the nice top stitching out. Let's focus in a bit more. There you go. So my machine is all set and ready to start. So our first thing we're going to do is we are going to top stitch on the folds here. Nicely done top stitching. Just lining them up nicely. Going to add some clips to keep it together. Take your side pieces and you're going to line them up on the edge, right sides together. So I'm lining them up right sides together and then I'll stitch them together. There you have them stitched together. Now I'm going to iron them flat and then top stitch. Now I'm going to find the center and I will do a top stitching line in the center of the card slots. I just went back and forth a couple times to secure it. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're going to fold this wrong sides together. And we're going to top stitch along that top fold there. Just like this. Now we're going to take our slip pocket piece. Half of it is interfaced and that's going to be the top. And you're going to line it on the bottom part that's not interfaced. And then we're going to fold it over. And then we're going to stitch it in place, leaving a gap so we could turn it. Now we're going to trim our seam allowance. Now turn it to the right side. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to top stitch along the edge there. There you, there's our pocket. Now we need to take a lining piece and we're going to line it up according to how the pattern piece shows us. There's dots here to show us where to place the pocket. So I'm going to do that just off camera here. You're going to stitch around the three sides. So I accidentally started this process before I started filming. So let's get caught up. I ha I'm starting the well pocket. I have the wrong side fabric facing the vinyl. And now I'm just lining it up with my measuring, making sure that it's lining up. And I will put a piece of double-sided tape here just to hold my fabric from slipping. And so now I'm going to sew around the box.
So now I'm going to mark the center and I'm going to cut through all layers to make that welt pocket. So now you're going to pull the fabric to the wrong side of the vinyl. This is a bit tricky part. I struggle with this part. That's why I choose colors that are similar because it's hard for me to get a clean where you can't see the lining. recently picked up this double-sided tape from Michael, so I'm giving this a try. And unfortunately, it didn't work out as I had planned. So I'm going to switch my plan of attack and I'm going to be using an old KK100 uh, uh, temporary adhesive glue. And that should work better. So now I am top stitching my zipper in place. I actually did this a couple times because I wasn't happy with the way it was lining up. So I will show you that in a second. So here's the best that I can do. Um, the lining shows a little bit. I haven't mastered yet, but I keep trying. This is the best I could do. I've redone it three times. And so what I did was I added heat from my iron to get some of the holes out of my vinyl. and you can't see the holes anymore. Now you're going to fold this up and then you will pin in place. And now you're going to stitch around the three sides. So this is our front, this is our center front Part and I'm adding the magnetic snap to it. And now you're going to fold along the folding lines according to the pattern to make that pocket in the front.
And now it's going to ask you to top stitch. Now you're going to take your two side fronts and you're going to line them up and stitch in place. And now you're going to top stitch the sides down. Alright, so this is what the flap looks like. You just line it up on the magnet and then make sure it's straight along the top and you're going to top stitch. But you're going to see in a moment that I actually changed my mind on the flap. I changed my mind. I'm switching out my flap for a vinyl one. So here's my flap. I actually redid my flap three times. You'll see in the finished one, it looks a bit different, but I will explain that later on. But you attach the flap to the magnet and then you're going to top stitch along the top. Alright, so I'm doing the zipper tab. The pattern calls for one zipper tab. I decided to do two zipper tabs because I like that look better. So you could see I'm attaching the, the second zipper tab. Lining piece. Lining piece number two, the back piece, and the front. So you're going to line up the pieces. You're going to have your front facing up. You're going to put your zipper right side down. Line it up. And then you're going to put your lining piece. Now that you have the zipper attached, you're going to top stitch on both sides of that zipper. So now it's time to finish up the wallet and you're going to pin around and leave a gap in the lining so that you could turn it to the right side. Key thing, keep that zipper open so that you could pull it out. And we'll show you the finished 
wallet right away. So I hope that you enjoyed my video. I hope that you enjoyed following along sewing on my Juvi BBL 8700H. I got it almost a year ago. I still haven't really done a video on my machine yet, but I hope to get around to that soon. But here was a little glimpse of me sewing it. This is the apple green uh, cottage pattern, the Enya crossbody wallet, crossbody bag or wallet. I made mine strictly a wallet. Um, I forgot to mention the hardware that you need, but the hardware that I used was two zippers, one here, one here, and a magnetic snap. I didn't have any gold, but I was really eager to make this, and plus you can't see that it's not gold, so I'm okay with that. Um, so this is where I'm going to put my change. And then here, this is nice and roomy, so you have card slots, and you have a pouch and another pouch so one of those pouches is for your cell phone and then you could have put another welt pocket here which I didn't want to uh, I don't like my bags too bulky like that's the width of it anything more bulky but I hope that you enjoyed following along sewing it if you make one of these let me know I asked Damiana if I could film myself sewing the Enya and she said yes. So thank you Damiana for letting me uh, sew this on camera with my industrial machine. Thank you so much for being here and I'm really excited to see what you have to say in the comments. And I will see you all next time.